Ethere, Google Glass, and Metaspace glasses, you may have met your match, and that's probably an understatement. Find out about the latest and greatest smart glasses device after the jump. Hello everyone and welcome to another 10 Reasons Why Show Tech with me, Scott Tommaso. It is the show that highlights the day's hottest tech for you, the layman. Now I've done shows on Ethere and Metaspace glasses and sorts, but today it's quite possible that I found the best of them all. Meet Microsoft's Project HoloLens. Now, if you haven't heard of it, it's okay. Most people at Microsoft haven't even heard of it. So what is Project HoloLens? Hmm. First off, physically, they're goggles. They're bigger than Google Glass, but less boxy than Oculus Rift. And considering this is Microsoft, it actually amplifies the technology that already exists with Kinect for the Xbox. But it uses very little power and spans 120 degrees by 120 degrees, which means it'll have no problem sensing your hands and movements. You can spread them out this wide, no problem. So now let's talk about what it actually does. It basically creates ultra realistic holograms, or even more basically, it tricks your mind into thinking that you're seeing something. Or even more basically, it tricks your mind into thinking you're seeing light as matter. Actually, that sounds more complex. But in a nutshell, what it really does is something that we already do in our daily lives, what we do with our eyes already. And if you're not a scientist, and I'm not, what it means is the way that humans see the world is through the bouncing of photons. So literally everything in front of you is just bouncing photons. And when they hit the back of your eyes, your mind reasons what the world is. Your mind creates these images in front of you of what it wants you to see. In other words, you're hallucinating everything. Okay, enough science, back to the device. After light particles bounce around a million times inside its light engine, the photons enter the two lenses where they ricochet between layers of red, blue, and green before they hit the back of your eye. And that's what allows you to see these holograms. Are you, are you still with me? Okay, so, so most importantly, what does this thing look like? What do the holograms look like? Does the word amazing mean anything to you? Now, what you're seeing in this video is pretty accurate actually to what you'll see in real time. Want to watch TV? Create a sweet ride? Skype on the go? Play video games? Fix your plumbing maybe? Or how about take a trip to Mars? Yes, Mars. This thing feels so real, you're gonna feel like the first person who's ever set foot on the red planet. In fact, it's so real, Microsoft has teamed up with NASA so that scientists around the world can work virtually on Mars. I wanna go to Mars, can I go to Mars? So the holograms are amazing, and the sound is actually just as good. If a hologram's to your right, you're gonna hear it on the right. If it's behind you, you're gonna hear it behind you. You get the point. And the good news is that Microsoft plans to unveil this device to developers by this spring and during the Windows 10 operating system timeframe. Oh, and one other thing, this thing is completely standalone. You don't need to pair it with your phone via Bluetooth. You don't need any cords. There's no wires, none, zilch, nada, nothing. And to me, that's a biggie. So this thing is amazing. And when it's all said and done, a lot of people are gonna go, okay, which smart glasses or virtual reality headset is the best? And while it might be unfair to lump all of these into the same group, people are inevitably going to do it. So with that being said, which one is your favorite? Google Glass? Meta Space Glasses? Ethere? Or is it Microsoft's Project HoloLens? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching another 10 Reasons Why Show Tech with me, Scott Tommaso. Now go tech yourself before you wreck yourself. Hello everyone and thanks again for watching the video. Go ahead and hit subscribe below. If you're one of those people that loves to, to listen on the go, be sure to subscribe to our podcast on iTunes. Just click the link below. In the meantime, check out some of our sample videos. Just click on them and it'll take you right there. And we thank you again for checking us out. Click it, go on.